hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl deja jordan for those of you that are new and for my returning kin folks what's up so you guys i know y'all wondering why i have us on a flight and that is because baby we are in jamaica now when i got off the plane they had somebody waiting for me she had my name on a little board made me feel very presidential and i like that after we got my luggage got that good old stamp on my passport okay she escorted me to club mo bay and club mo bay to say the least is where the players play okay <laughs> y'all i'm just kidding it's literally just a nice little area lounge to have a drink have some food and just wait on your bus to come instead of being outside with the rest of you know mankind so you guys are gonna be hearing a little bit of me doing some voiceover and also in the moment so while i'm sitting here waiting on trees to get here i am gonna get something to eat have a drink I did watch vlogs on, you know, Jamaica. I wanted to see what I was getting myself into. And it's looking like the Duns was on everyone's list of things to do when you come to Jamaica. So, I'm, I'm not I'm going to need to go ahead and go to. Yeah. Blue Hole and Duns were the falls. It sounds very relaxing. And I think I'm here for it. I mean, like, I'm literally here for everything. But... You know what, I just feel like we should just do any and everything. We're here for five days, y'all. We are here for five days, so we might as well just completely do it up. We might as well completely do it up. I ain't gonna do no white water back now. That's not my Steve. I don't need to be in no tune. We need to do all of that. For some snorkeling and stuff, I can get mine. I just I hope a tree doesn't want to do zip lining, but she's an Aries. And then Aries be living a spontaneous lifestyle, so I don't know. She might. She might. let me just say this i am so happy that i started filming a little bit of what jamaica looks like when i first got into the bus because y'all that rum punch really snuck up on me like it had me sleep on the bus like the the bus ride was already 45 minutes to the hotel because you know you got to go the distance and you got to do some drop offs in between of some other people so i'm glad i was in a safe environment but dang you guys like that run punch really had your girl sleeping in this man's car so welcome to the luxury bahia so once i got to the hotel i checked in and headed directly to the room and if you didn't hear my mans we are at the bahia principi the luxury side okay adults only no children 
but you guys when i got there they had a nice little hbd on the bed you know because it's my birthday you know it's leo season and i just thought that was really nice of them because i didn't tell nobody it was my birthday so it must have been my travel agent that told them it was my birthday so shout out to tasha that was really nice of them to you know do their little thing with the hbd and the champagne that was really nice of them i am so excited this is literally getting ready to be the best birthday week ever y'all i'm turning 30 this year 30 30 and honestly i can just think gosh here is to 30. we gonna live it up the entire week that we are here because we only turned 30 once so it's lit from here this next chapter is gonna be one of my best chapters in every chapter after that so you guys thank you so much for watching this vlog and celebrating my birthday week with me even though I felt like I've already showed y'all the room, I'm going to show you again. So once you come in, here's the bathroom. Hello. And then I really like how the bathroom um, was set up. Once you go in, you have the shower on your left hand side. And then you have the toilet right next to the shower. And I like how the toilet is private. It was a very sp small space, but... You know, you gotta make do what you gotta make do with. But I like the double sinks and the the tub. Okay. I already showed you guys the bed and a little setup. You know, the HBD. How cute. That was real nice of them. They had a little lounging area. And I already showed you guys the balcony. But anyways, once my cousin arrived, we immediately went to the dispensary. Like once she got in, she put her bags down. We gave each other hugs. And we went to the car to head to the dispensary. Okay, listen, y'all. So I am here at the dispensary in Jamaica, in Jamaica right? In Montego Bay. <laughs> they need a doctor's evaluation. They need a, a doctor's evaluation as to why your girl needs marijuana. So what they what what needs to happen is first of all it's a $15 cover to even get into the dispensary which is fine you know it's fine I mean where they do that at? I don't know but that's fine you know <laughs> so on top of that they have to add you into the system for $15 and then you have to call the doctor like she's gonna call the doctor on the phone and I have to explain to the doctor why I need marijuana so what do most people say when they say why they need it? They, they need anxiety, depression, birthday. What are you gonna say? Okay, I'm gonna go with anxiety because at this moment my anxiety is high. Hi. <laughs> Hello. You're fully aware of the risk and the benefits of using marijuana. Yes. All right, go ahead. I'll send your doctor's note. Okay. Wow, okay y'all, so I have like two minutes left on this battery, so I'm going to show y'all what the dispensary looks like. Oh, she actually said I couldn't film. Look at me breaking the rules a little bit. But y'all, the dispensary or the herb house was very relaxing, calming. There were some great discounts in there. I enjoyed knowing the exact source of my weed. So I would recommend this place. It was a 10 out of 10, even though they had to charge a cover. I walked out of there pretty happy. First drink of the morning. Or of the day. First drink of the day or first drink of the morning. Okay guys, so we are in day two of the vlog. We have gotten dressed. This is the makeup and this is the hair. I think maybe I'm gonna take some photos for you guys. Let y'all see how I take my little, you know, photos, I guess, I guess. <laughs> Look, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I meant to show y'all my breakfast, but I ended up leaving my camera in the room. But anyways, 
After we took some photos, we decided to hit some of the souvenir shops that they had around the hotel. I like to get some of my souvenir shopping out of the way at the beginning of my trip so that I'm not rushing, trying to do it at the end of my um, trip and trying to make transportation and all of that. So we just went ahead and got it out of the way and the shot glasses out here were pretty nice. They were cute. So I ended up buying a couple of things that are actually tangible okay <laughs> i bought a couple of things to hang up in my house just to remind me of my time in jamaica because i'm gonna tell y'all now your girl had a ball i had a ball but anyways keep watching and oh yeah go ahead and subscribe if this is not your first time here go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already all right you guys so now that we took a road of nap, that's what we did. We are going to uh, our dinner reservations, that's at nine and it's 8.48. Now, I think it's so important, just take you a nap on vacation. <laughs> when it's the day of the day after, take you a good nap. There's no need to be out Y'all, I couldn't remember the name of this restaurant, but the food was good. Yeah, I just need some salt. Mango though? I have no problems. You know what? This is the second international place I've been where they ain't got no strawberries. Wait, is that not a thing? Watermelon, you got even in season. Watermelon has to be an in season thing? Mm hmm. Or fruit. It's sweeter when it's in season. Well, um, the states got me spoiled because they got me thinking that it's a every season thing. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is that? I tried to see if I was going to change my mind. No? <laughs> but the mango is good. The mango? I'm going to tell you. The mango slap. So after dinner, we ended up grabbing some drinks, listening to some music, and just uh, going back to the room and getting ready for the next day. So uh, this morning, we ordered and room service so that we can have a little bit more time to get dressed and prep for our boat ride and snorkeling because we went snorkeling. And when I say we, I mean Atrice, my cousin, she went snorkeling because, um, no, they said it was for elite swimmers. I'm not even above average. I am low on the totem pole when it comes to swimming. But anyways, you guys, before we even got to the boat, they had girls on here getting their hair braided. I love to see people adapting to the culture. That's real cute. That's really nice. In other words, I couldn't stick around to watch more of, you know, the hair braiding. I had to go and catch the boat ride, okay? And y'all, this is my view from the boat. This water was so pretty. So pretty. I enjoyed just even the temperature of the water because, you know, I dipped my toe in. It was real nice. Y'all, she is ready for snorkeling. You ready, girl? So while homegirl was out there doing her thing, you know, being the elite swimmer that she is, I was on the boat, you know, having me a strawberry, or not a strawberry, but having me, you know, a fruit punch, looking at the view, understanding why, you know, Stella came here to Jamaica to get her groove back. I mean, I was scared as shit, okay? I'm gonna hold you. I couldn't look underwater too long. <laughs> scared as fuck, okay? I was like, oh, okay, oh god, oh god. The like, guy was like, a, a scuba diver, I mean, the snorkel instructor uh, was like, let's look. I was like, I'm good. It's too close. <laughs> Enjoyed myself here on the boat. On the boat. <laughs> and dry, girl. You know how to do it. You know how to do it. Ain't gonna mess up a 150 face ever. Okay. Right here on the boat. Okay. So after Miss Braveheart Atrice went snorkeling, we ended up going to Dunn's River and you guys, it was not relaxing like I thought it was going to be. 
Alright you guys, so we are getting ready to do the Dunn's River Walk and it is 900 feet climbing. So I'm interested to see what's at the top. Y'all know I really don't be doing no walking. I'm not that active. So this is gonna be it's gonna be interesting, but I'm ready. So let's see what's Y'all the view was nice. I give it that. I give Dunn's River Falls that the view was nice, but the climb Oh, the being in the water. Oh, mm. oh. Okay, y'all. So the trees are still down there, and the trees. That's my cousin, the one that y'all been seeing on the vlog. She's still down there. get out because they was in there baptizing each other and they then got me wet I don't like that so I had to make a an exit off of the yeah I have to go so here's my view being dry and here's everybody else still in there after the Duns Rivers fall we ended up getting back on the boat and heading back to land so that we could um, head back to the hotel but you guys the boat was lit you know everywhere we go they dancing they got the crowd engaged I mean they had everybody turned up on the on the boat like I promise you it was so the boat ride you know go ahead and do it it's worth it it's fun get to know some people dance do your thing but once we got back to the hotel we literally had time to just change brush in our brush our teeth freshen up and head to our dinner reservation and y'all this was the dress for dinner it says party in the front and conservative in the back okay y'all i really like this dress i came up on this dress but anyways y'all the restaurant that we went to was named picasso i like the vibe in here the artwork everything was just nice the whole little setup so it was very nice and relaxing the food was good and this restaurant as well um the steak mm, the steak if you like steak it was mm, top tier and i ended up getting some salmon on the side just because you know why not right but after dinner y'all Atrice had me at the club and they was turned up y'all they was turned out turned up to some meek mill now i didn't post the music because i didn't want to have any copyright issues but y'all look at a whole dance team in here and they cutting up too they doing their thing on a dance flow look at them okay all right good morning y'all so as you can see my birthday trip here in jamaica has been nothing short of amazing right now um it is i want to say like almost 10 o'clock i'm about to take a shower do my hair do my makeup and we just gonna see what the day brings i'm not even sure what the hell we are doing today but I know we're doing something fun. I know we are getting into something. So I'll be right back. Let me let me go get dressed so I can show y'all what is what is cracking. What is what is here for? So I'll be back. I'll be back.
So today was the day that we had planned to just throw on our bathing suits and go to the beach and y'all while we were having lunch um it seems like you know the world mother nature the earth had different plans so we just enjoyed this beautiful storm and hung out in the cafe so so now they don't want you to curse can i say four so not on my Gremlins? The Gremlins. She's something. Anyways, you guys, she's making me do it. I got her a shot for her birthday. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Because she don't want to drink. Her. Love her. Excuse me. Okay, person. Hold the channel. F her, okay? She needs to drink. Don't ask It's her birthday. It's her 30th birthday. Turn up. That's what we need to do. So we got her a shot. Exhibit A. Okay? She gonna drink some of this today. Don't let don't her bleed. Cause she gonna be drinking. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> she not gonna drink it. She gonna do it. Okay. This is to you, Kai. Mm. Oh wow, she really drank it. Now I need to order me another shot cause I thought she wasn't gonna drink it all. <laughs> And then they're gonna bring me some sparkling water and not Sprite. I don't know what that is, sparkling water. They want me to chase this with some water? Like tonic water or something? I don't know. Good thing you still have some of that. That water down, food punch. Oh, the rain came back. We gotta save it on the. That's some like potato. I mean, some people like this. They breast it. I gotta love her. Alright y'all, the storm is back. She's making me take shots. So once the rain cleared up, we ended up going back to the hotel room and just relaxing a little bit and waited until our dinner reservation. And I can't believe I'm telling y'all this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all this. The food here at the buffet is better than the food at the restaurants. I think there's probably like three restaurants that I would say yes to. Make sure you get on the reservation list for that. But other than that, the buffet food was slapping. I mean, it was slapping because they're not selling jerk chicken in the restaurant, you know? So you gotta go to the buffet for that. You know, you gotta go to the buffet for that, for the good, good, good stuff, unfortunately. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all this. Everywhere I went, they was recognizing that it was your girl's birthday. So if I gotta hear happy birthday, y'all gotta hear happy birthday. <laughs> Sorry. I've been feeling the love from my girl, my cousin, my sister. I am so grateful. The only thing that I need to do is talk to my kids. I haven't talked to my kids in a couple of days, so I'm a little sad over that, but it's okay. Yo, you guys, thank you so much for being a part of my channel, my family, my growth. I really, really appreciate you guys. And I haven't told y'all this at all during the vlog, but go subscribe. If you are still watching this vlog, if you have watched more than one of my videos, you know, just first give this one a thumbs up and then subscribe, hit that little bell on the side. And also, you know, just 
go watch some more of my videos. So y'all, now we are in our final day of our full day vacation, and y'all, right now it's Team No Sleep. We're gonna go ATV riding, y'all. Then we're gonna horse back, and then we're gonna zip riding. You wanna zip riding? My girl, I'm doing we zip riding. I'm Everything. Gonna go, I'm gonna go with the feet on top of zip riding, yes. but I don't know if I'm gonna jump though. <laughs> This horseback riding trail was so nice. It was relaxing. The horses were cool. <sighs> Y'all, it takes a lot to know how to, um, you know, work an animal, a horse at that, because everybody got a mind of their own. But it was really nice. We took them in the ocean. I didn't take my phone. I didn't take anything, or I would have showed y'all. But y'all, the horses did really good. I survived. I didn't fall in the water or nothing. It was really nice. But you guys, after horseback riding, we ended up going ATV riding and y'all, ATV riding in Jamaica should be a priority on your list because it was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed just everything. And let me just go ahead and tell y'all, I would have gotten um, footage of zip lining, but my phone did die, my camera died. It was just, everything was dying. But I did end up going zip lining and it was fun. So if y'all want to see some pictures of that, just go ahead and go to my Instagram. Anyways, let's get into this nice, relaxing um, ride, okay? Look at your girl. Just doing her thing, leading the pack as she should, you know, giving them Leo vibes while she's on the ATV and whatnot. And then, you know, Courtney and her mans, they tried to, you know, I don't know if they was racing or if they was just trying to, you know, I don't know. I don't know what was happening here, but she was like, I was on your video. And I was like, girl, no problem. As long as we was having fun. And we was. But y'all, the morning of the last day, like the final last day, like the day that I'm going home, catching my flight. I just wanted to show y'all this beach. I finally made it. The beach was beautiful. It was beautiful. And um, the water was real nice too. So I got to come back to Jamaica because Jamaica just did me right in so many ways. And I need to get more of that beach time. But anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching this vlog, hanging out with me for my birthday week. And I will see y'all in my next video, tutorial, whatever I got going on. But I'll see y'all when I'm 30. Peace and love be multiplied.